Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. My name is Ira. I'm Sophia and, and we, we are, are by the way. Do you like street art? Well, I think everybody does. But if you don't, just watch this video and you will love it. And don't forget to subscribe to see the most interesting locations of Yekaterinburg. Yekaterinburg is a city of people who are not afraid to express themselves. That is why our city is considered the capital of street art in Russia. Since 2010, Yekaterinburg has hosted Stenographia, the largest street art festival in the country. Every year street artists come to us from all over the world to make the city brighter. And today we will tell you about our favorite street art of Ketrenburg. The first street art is the Pokras Lampas Ark, a great example of how street art works for the benefit of the city. Previously there was a terrible dark arc through which you could only pass very quickly plugging your nose. And now, at one of point, this art became the most popular place for selfies in Yekaterinburg. All this happened because in 2013, as a part of Stenographia, the St. Petersburg artist Pekras Lampas spray the carpet of more than a thousand tags in the color Tiffany. In addition, the artist wrote the phrase All your woes belong to us, visible just under ultraviolet lighting. Well, uh, I think this look really creative, but it also boring because there are too much lines. Well, I like this one, I like the style, I like the colors, and uh, I would like to take a picture there. <laughs> the second place is a cafe, but not just regular one. It's a cafe with a big goggle in the wall. And it's located in the first house of Goggle Street. If you don't know, Gogol was famous Ukrainian novelist, writer and playwright in the Russian Empire. Also, he mentioned Yekaterinburg in his novel The Night Before Christmas, so that's why he's on the wall. Well, I really like this, uh, this one, but well, uh, I don't like the way it's done, uh, the style of uh, the artist, but I really like that uh, the name of the street corresponds to the author that is on the picture. Uh, well, I like this graffiti because here I can see the Google and I think it's, it looks really modern and also I like the historical part of this. Our next location will be street art with dinosaurs. The Spectre team congratulated the Stenographia Art Festival on its 10th anniversary by drawing dinosaurs playing musical instruments. Dinosaurs have birthday too. This work is a two-day illustration made a combination of bright pure colors. Dinosaurs, I like dinosaurs, and they are playing musical instruments, and they say ling ling. I suppose that it's always better to see something like that than just a wall. And uh, I think that it's, well, uh, it always makes uh, people who see it smile. Our last location will be street art with the inscription Live is not for sale. This art is located on the right side of Mega Shopping Center. This work was created by Ilya Mosgi. In his Instagram, they also post a photo of his beloved again, the backward in the art and signed. I honestly believe in love, which makes you move forward. Well, this quote is interesting and like philosophical, I think. Uh, and, I like, and I like really red color. The best for me is love is not for sale, because this is true for me. In this video, we showed you that graffiti is a very important part of the culture of our city. 
They can not only attract the attention of passers-by, but also reflect the personality of the artist and raise important issues. Hope you like our video and want to see more. If so, then like this video, subscribe to our channel and write down which street art is your favorite. Bye, Bye for now and hope to see you soon!